Hi everyone and welcome. This is a special winter solstice reading where I take a look at what is likely to happen in the world in the next three months because solstices and equinoxes close a season and open a period, a cycle of the next three months, not just from a natural perspective, but also karmically. So that is exactly what this reading is meant for, to give us a clue of what might happen this winter, what might happen the next three months. So basically from now until the beginning of Aries season next year. So first we have the Two of Wands reversed, clarified by the King of Swords reversed and the Eight of Coins. Well, from a collective perspective, this does represent one of the most potent and significant effects of the Venus retrograde season that we are experiencing right now. This means that a lot of people will reevaluate really strongly what they're going to do career-wise next in the future, basically what's worth it, what is not worth it. And we are in a period of great uncertainty, so it's really hard to evaluate, to figure out what investments or what future action financially is going to pay off, what is not going to pay off. So this will lead to a massive confusion, Certain people taking leaps of faith and, you know, changing jobs, changing careers or going solo, going freelance, maybe even going off grid, while other people will definitely do the opposite. They will end their freelance or independent ways of earning, making a living, and they will embrace something else. And this will definitely reflect in the world out there because a lot of people will feel the call to do this at around the same time. So basically in the next three months. So there will be a certain kind of instability, confusion or, you know, a big fluctuation on the employment industry. And this will kind of mean a dual expression for some people. This is really good news because certain things that were not really available for them career-wise or job-wise or, you know, to have an income-wise are all of a sudden going to appear. It will basically be freed up. But for other people, it's not so good news because especially if they work at a company, a big company, there will be instability. So you won't know what to expect in the next period, not even next month. And most probably this King of Swords reverse means changes in the work legislation, new rules, old rules get modified. And basically, individually, this represents the same thing. Basically, you're either wanting to change careers or jobs, or you're going to think about how to upgrade, or better said, adapt your career, your livelihood, whatever you're doing for a living, you know, to be able to survive, to be able to exist in very unstable conditions. So everyone will start making plans, thinking about what they can do to improve, what they can do to have more stability or to be more flexible. Now next we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Temperance Reversed and the uh, Knight of Swords reversed. Well, this isn't very good news because it does represent a misuse of power and flawed, very almost manipulative communication from centralized power. This does mean that rule wise, law wise, regulation wise, it will be pretty unilateral. They will kind of do what they want to do. And this temperance reverse isn't a very good sign either because this might mean new variant or something gets out of control. The balance is severely affected. So this can mean an amplification of the medical crisis, but it can also mean that the rules and regulations and basically the legal side of things does not reflect 
the urgency of the medical crisis. So maybe the rules are going to be very, very tough, very harsh, and the medical condition won't be as severe as they make it out to be. And this will cause a lot of blockages. This, first of all, the Knight of Swords reversed. Conflictual communication, angry words, confrontations, this sort of things. But then next we have the hangman reverse, the devil and judgment. That means revolution, rebellion, action, organized action. So, you know, this will represent a big turmoil where, you know, people will definitely take to the streets, protest, they will do everything within their power to fight off uh, the devil, which is a symbol of being restricted, being constricted, being manipulated, not being given freedom in its real sense. And the judgment, well, that's basically Pluto. This is another manifestation, if we want to call it that way, of how the old order is crumbling and there is no way to stop it, there is no way to fix it, so we have to allow it to crumble. But certain manifestations might really be big and kind of violent, so that's why it might probably reach the news. And most probably, most of this happens in December and at the first half of January. Now, from an individual perspective, this means a lot of clarity coming in. We are starting to get to a position where we can actually decide or have a pretty clear judgment of what all of that external chaos means for us personally. So, like it or not, this also comes as a reality check. What it is that we can truly accomplish, work for, experience in the close future and what it is that is basically a false hope so we this is going to be more like a real big eye-opener for all of us when we can more much more realistically than we could have done until this moment have a future vision of what is like for real going to happen to us personally of our life stories you know, basically of our own personal close futures. And of course, the reason why none of this was that clear to us until now was that basically the future was so, so uncertain that even to the best of our abilities, we just couldn't foresee it, we couldn't anticipate it. Our calculations just couldn't match up because it was way too chaotic so we had to get to this time, to this point in time, to be able to be close enough to anticipate what is available for us personally, for our own life stories in the, couple, in the next months to follow. And this is also the devil. We will have to make certain compromises for our own greater good, for our own stability, for our own safety. Chances are we need to take some action even if it might be a little bit against our ideals so to speak in order for us to make sure that we are safe materially that we can survive maybe take on some extra work or take on work that we don't necessarily like have social connections who we don't really respect from a spiritual perspective but we will need to just compromise in order to have connections to get us what we need. Of course, all for the sake of survival, but this also has a higher expression where we definitely will be in our positions of power. So what we are really, really good at, what we are skilled at, what we are powerful at, what we have great experience with, that will definitely be our greatest advantage and we can, you know, milk that, symbolically speaking, as much as we possibly can. So in other words, our strength or that which represents our native virtues, that will also grow in power. So it's not just the inconveniences and the obstacles, our strength will definitely also grow so things will look in a certain way. There will be a certain kind of balance 
that we can expect for the next months. And that at least can make basically show us exactly where we stand and what is going to be available to us. Now then next we have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Three of Swords and the Hermit Reverse. Now this is also pretty bad because collectively speaking it does mean something really fearful, something that will cause a lot of worry. Hermit Reverse... Well, it can represent, you know, again, some medical problem or a massive disruption in services. So something serious has to, you know, exist in order to cause such heavy disruption. Even though I'm not exactly sure what this means in a practical way, something will happen around the second half of January or even into February, which will cause a lot of worry, a lot of concern, a lot of fear, maybe even a lot of heartbreak. So something really doomy and gloomy might take place at this time. And what happens next? Well, we have the death clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Chariot reversed. Now, what I interpret this as it is a symbolic gesture or an act or some kind of martyrdom for example for like remember how the black lives matter movement all started so maybe there is one casualty one person suffers a grim fate or one person loses something but that is very, very symbolic. That is very suggestive of the greater expression of that person's story as in something that is playing out on a large scale in society or the times that we live in or an ancestral wound, perhaps, something like that. So it will reach the news. It will go viral. It will be a big, big theme, a big topic. And what happens next is the five of ones, clarified by the... Star reversed and the Nine of Wands, that is a lot of struggle. So most probably businesses will struggle. Most probably there are going to be, you know, both restrictions, a lot of incompetence, a lot of corruption. So authorities not being able to handle this. People by this time might have lost totally their patience. Some people are going to be in danger, basically. In a certain part of the world, it's winter, so maybe their lives are actually put at risk because they don't have utilities and stuff like that. So I do believe that this second half of January until the first half of February is going to be pretty intense. A lot of things are going to happen simultaneously, so it's it's going to be really, really chaotic. It's going to be really heavy, but... I do believe that it won't last for a long time. It's going to be like a shorter, but very, very intense, very sorrowful, fearful, basically even karmically shocking couple of weeks where everyone is going to have to fasten their seatbelt, so to speak, because we will be definitely in the eye of the storm. But I do believe that all of that struggle, all of the conflict, all of the chaos, disruption and protests, and especially, again, I have to say that symbolic event or that big news that will go viral, that everyone will talk about. So this Ace of Swords, something either, as I said, the example of someone who suffered something, or it can either be like a news, it can either be like a revelation, secret coming out, exposing something corrupt, very, very corrupt. Because, you know, it's the death card that is Scorpio, that is, you know, well-kept secret. So it, it's something really big. So it will definitely stir up spirit. It will be chaos. It will be a moment of uncertainty. But what we have coming next... Well, we have the Judgment reversed, the Six of Cup, sorry, Six of Coins and the Page of Coins. So it has had to produce 
like some kind of effect, some kind of changes, because we, as we head towards March, things are already looking totally different. That judgment reversed represents that something, an action was taken. It happens that something did calm down the spirits, something did pacify the situation, people. So this is already the start of a recovery or really significant efforts and actions in this sense. So I'm not sure what can happen, like a compromise between centralized power and people, but globally speaking. But this is actually good news because this is, a, is the beginning of a turnaround. Maybe this can be like a fi big financial blessing where the only way to pacify people is to give them money and maybe this can be uh, maybe a utopic expression of this energy. But either way, people will do receive some kind of help or solution or where they can just go and live their lives not normally, but in an acceptable and tolerable manner. So there is something happening. Now next we have the Four of Coins, clarified the Ace of Cups reversed and the Nine of Cups. This is also a really good sign. And I do believe this might be a period, you know, at the very, very end of March, even a bit into April. Maybe this is the expression of the Jupiter and Neptune conjunction. But anyway, this represents a huge spiritual blessing, like a wave of bliss or a really strong spiritual energy helping a lot of people. This is pretty miraculous, to be totally honest with you, because this means a lot of wishes are going to manifest or be granted at the same time. So something of spiritual, metaphysical, energetic nature, maybe cosmological, something does happen where it empowers certain people and it amplifies their manifestation. So one way or another, this does mean that a lot of people are going to help themselves, fix themselves, fix their situations a period of profound healing, but th that is really to be expected with Jupiter in Pisces, where it just dissolves the ancestral trauma, it dissolves the blockages, it dissolves the heaviness, the po inner poison, so to speak. So maybe that will conjure up a big blessing, and people will start fixing things, their lives and their immediate environment, their communities spiritually because next we have something even better the star clarified by the ace of wands and the six of wands victory being able to passionately work towards the future so that means that people are really going to have high hopes something is going to be a game changer of course perhaps not for everyone in the world but you know, do remember that this is like a spiritual wave. So this will definitely affect spiritual people or those who are truly open to this. This is like a massive empowerment. As I said, this will cause passion. So people anticipating, working for their futures, believing with all their hearts in the future passionately. So this is some kind of really good news. So this is what the cards had to show us of what we can expect in the next three months to take place in the world. Thank you so much for listening and being here. Thank you for all the likes, all the shares, all the beautiful comments. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and it managed to inspire you a little bit. I wish everyone blessed winter celebrations, blessed solstice, blessed Christmas. And as the cards and also the astrology says, we might be in for a very, very bumpy and very chaotic and uncertain ride, but there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. So we must do everything within our power to hold on to hope and just keep our frequency 
as harmonious and as serene as possible and that will definitely help us. So thank you again for listening. Until next time, bye for now.